So this set reminds me a lot of Urza Saga in terms of relative power level to the previous sets. The collectability of this set is very high, like Urza Saga. Before Urza Saga hit, a lot of people had quit Magic. Magic was very boring. They had sold their collections. And then Urza Saga. Great mechanics, great artwork, very collectible, fun to play Magic again. This is kind of like it, but I see it as more collectability. The prices of these cards, and I have opened quite a bit, is very good. This is probably one of my favorite most recent sets. I think the only other set recently that I like more than this is War of the Spark. But beyond War of the Spark, which was a long time ago, the most recent sets have been pretty bad. Um, Crimson Vow, Streets, even Neon Dynasty to an extent doesn't really feel like... Neon Dynasty doesn't feel like magic. It feels like an anime, which I'm okay with, but I can understand. The Dungeons and Dragons sets, obviously not great. Dominaria United, eh. Brightest War... Not really for me, especially the Transformers. This is for me. Uh, this is a product that I really enjoy opening. I have, I'm have. i looking to get the Alice Norm, which is the Step and Complete Foil, which is the Borderless. It is the horror art the from the Japanese artist. I thought that was very clever. I mentioned that being very smart for them to do. And, you know, hey... Maybe they can get more horror artists, more people that we would know. More manga artists, more anime artists. You know, just get them in. And, I mean, it's if it sells, it sells. I mean, it, why would you not do that? That being said, the pre-sale prices are the highest I've ever seen. Uh, that includes Sealed. The Complaint Bundle right now is, you know, the lowest listing on TCG Player. It's $135. That's really, really good because distribution is much lower. The set booster display is 130. Uh, I'm getting these sets. Uh, they didn't really change price. It's $93. For me, at least. I get them in the sleeve boosters. So I look at 93 and I look at selling for 130 and I say, yeah, there's margin in that. But there's no margin in streets. There's no margin in... Crimson Vow, Dungeons and Dragons, were Forgotten Lore, or Commander Legends. God, they said it was Commander Legends version of it. You got to have margin. You have to have chase cards. It has to be exciting. It has to be a gamble. This is what Phyrexian All will be one. Fantastic set. You know, I'm very critical of Magic the Gathering, but they, this, is, this is the Urza Saga light. It will bring more players to the game. I actually was on Whatnot, and people are selling these things, again, because it's Whatnot, and they're selling early, and they're getting streams. You know, like, when I was live streaming on YouTube, we would often go to Whatnot in the beginning of the live stream and end. There might be, like, 15 people at most, and we're talking about, like, nighttime streams, right? Now, there's 40, 50, 100 people, and they're all just buying... And they have like a choice. They're like pile A, B, and C. And they always picked the Phyrexia all will be one pile. This is one banger of a set, my dudes. It is very, very good. Um, again, I, I cannot say that. I, I, I honestly am surprised. I, I kid you not. I am quite surprised how well this set is doing. And I am very surprised how the complex bundle case is doing I, I just look at this and i say how can this possibly be but at the same time it is so like i don't argue the result the results is what it is right i mean this is a very very popular set and it's only going to get more and more valuable as time goes on i will probably buy some of these uh and to store for long term and you know i hate seal product because seal product i don't think it it's very liquid i think you can liquidate it when it comes out like on whatnot but then people lose interest because then there's another product this is one of the best products i have seen in terms of margins in terms of 
93 selling for 130 even if you sold it for 120 at your store giving you know sh slight shipping discounts and whatnot you're still making 27 dollars which is a fantastic that's fantastic margins for any magic product so I, that's the price I'm getting my stuff at in the complete bundles. I get it way cheaper than that they're selling. I mean, it's crazy. I think that's what a lot of whatnot people are doing. If they have stores, they're just selling them for pennies on the... I mean, they're just making so much money right now because the wheels are turning. They get the product early. Whatever you think about that. I mean, I know people and whatnot. I think they had the product since Monday or Tuesday. I think since it's Tuesday, they have the product and have been selling on whatnot. They sell Pokemon cards early as well. Obviously, you know, that's... Again, you get the highest price when you sell early. I love it. I like the artwork. I like the collectability. I didn't think I would like the various versions of... But I kind of do because it makes it more of a chase. It reminds me a lot of the Pokemon. And even the price point reminds me a lot of Pokemon. And you guys know I I love Pokemon. I love chasing the alt art and you lose money. I mean, trust me, I, I fully know I lose money opening Pokemon packs. I'm not an idiot, right? But it is fun when you hit that card. And that's the same feeling I have here. So it truly is about collectability more than it is about the power ability. I don't play Magic in physical paper Magic anymore. I haven't played Arena for a long time either. But it's fun to collect. It's fun to put in binders. I have not had this much fun opening stuff and collecting it. Because there's so much to collect. So it's like a very big set. But then there are some big hitters. Just like the Pokemon art artwork. You know, the one that I want is obviously the Elish Norm. The manga ver I call it the manga version. I don't know what they call it. Which is the coach website. This is a great set. And I think it will hold its value long term. I think the sealed product. It is the best set since War of the Spark. Bar none. It's been a long time. Uh, is it creative? Eh, is it mechanical? I think it's just a very collectible set. The cards in it, they make sense. Um, there's different foilings. There's different. I, I really wanted to not like the different versions of it. But after see, seeing whatnot and opening some of this myself, which will come next month. We're like two months behind. I'm still opening Brothers War. <laughs> Don't ask me why we're doing that, but... We still are. And we have a lot of Pokemon products that I have to upload. I had a blast. I had a blast. And that's the the reason I'll buy more, right? Bye, guys. <laughs>